Welcome back to Soybean Harvest, guys. It is technically video number two of Soybean Harvest, and it's 8 o'clock, as you can see in the upper right-hand corner, and the sun is just starting to rise. This is the perfect time of month where it's a beautiful harvest sunrise. We gotta go down, meet the boys for some breakfast quick, some coffee, and my real pickup, well, not my real pickup truck, this is the real pickup truck, but my new pickup truck is over in the field, so we're just gonna take the old 72 to get some coffee still, because that old pickup, or the new pickups, hooked up to the soybean header. As always, if you're enjoying the Harvest series or the 2000s roleplay, let me know by smashing that like button. It was Buck's choice to choose the breakfast place and he chose all the way over in Wisconsin. So that means we gotta drive across to Mississippi to get breakfast, which is fine. They got a new cafe that I haven't checked out there. While we're driving, I'll pull up on my Blackberry here. We got, as far as Harvest, we got all of our equipment over by Field 21 and for soybeans, we got started, we got the, we, well, we got some of the headlands done, but we're making some good passes here. And so hopefully we can finish this field today and hopefully start on some corn over on field 27. Are you kidding me? They said some fancy cafe and they go to McDonald's. Are you kidding me? Morning, Nate. Morning. Oh, got a side of there, didn't you? <laughs> Just a little. I've been up since six o'clock and hyped on two cups of coffee right now. I don't know about you guys. I've only had a, wa a water and a, sh and a steak. That's what I had. You eat steak had for breakfast? Where'd you Where'd you put that silage you chopped for me, Buck? You know where that uh, the cattle barn is? It's uh, just north of my well, technically just to the east of my place, about a mile. Yeah. There's two bunkers that are sitting in the back. The right The right bunker is the stuff that came out of my field. The one on the left bunker is your stuff. Okay. But I can we technically can use both. Can you hold the it one over to my mine. place when I'm ready, or how's that gonna work? Yeah. Yeah, I should be able to do that, but you might have to supply the trailer. So I think we're talking. Nate at Mickey D's over there. He's gonna run grain cart for us. I'm gonna run a combine and Buck's gonna run a combine too. So like, I mean, if everything goes smooth today, no breakdowns, we'll have this soybean field knocked out and be halfway done with corn today. Okay, so we're gonna, while Nate's grabbing his combine, he uses combine for something else, but he does some custom makers for us. So I'm gonna get everything fired up this morning. We're good on fuel here. Got the oil checked and we'll see if the 9630T cranks over. Come on. Come on. There we go. She cranked over good. And then we gotta get the combine cranked over. The 9770, she's a tougher start. This thing hasn't, the battery's been low. It's a, it's a little chilly out, but we should start fine. There we go. And there's Nate. So Nate's bringing his header over. And there's Rattleman Buck, rolling on in. Okay, we'll hook up to this. Buck should be able to guide me here. We good, Buck? Yep, lift up. Okay, lift her up, get her attached. Hydraulics are in, you should be good to go. We're gonna move the truck out of the way and then we're gonna hit it hard today. Buck, you running the case? Looks like I'm gonna have to. Okay, Buck's cutting good up there. Nate's just falling behind like a good grain cart driver does. And then I'm leading the way. And we got auto steer going, so I mean, it is smooth sailing here. The beans are a little tough though, getting through there. You can hear them not feeding the best, and then you hear them thumping, and it just sounds like the whole combine just gets stuck. You gotta throw back on the throttle, or the throttle controller, let them cycle through, and then keep going. Buck, you, you good up there? You get through the green stems? Yeah, this thing's eating it just fine. It's kind of, uh, I think the knives are a little dull on this, but other than that, they should be fine. Yeah, they're a little tougher this morning. I, th I figured, I mean, it's 10.41 a.m. I figured the wind would be out and well, going. So but... I think there might be a little bit of dew on there, so it might also be that the crop's a little bit wet. True, true. If anything, if we are a little bit later, we're going to have to get this stuff out because then the frost is going to start kicking in, which it already start might uh, next week. Well, the frost would be good for green stems if we get those things earn off good, but it's like, we've been warm still. I'm 50% I'm full, looks like. Oh, but we also don't want it for all the dry stuff, so all the pods will break open. Got an idea, let's just get beans over with, we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, beans, it's good that they're first, because I hate them, and then you get the corn and it's like, in heaven. It's easy going, I mean, you can combine with your eyes closed. Can we do this, Buck? Can oh, we do no, this? Can we? <laughs> oh, no. Almost. If I pull up my Blackberry here, we got yield. The, some of the best parts are down here. It's like some higher organic matter soil. And then up here, some better organic matter soil. That's where we're really yielding good. So hopefully, I'm hoping once we get over here, we'll get some better yield. But right now, I mean, we're in that kind of 100% to 85% range for yield. Really, when we get over here, we get in the 125% range. There we go. And we're topping off Nate. And he's good. We did not spill any. You did not see nothing. 
It is smooth sailing. Going six mile an hour. Bucks over there just on the top of the hill. Nate's really doing nothing because beans aren't yielding amazing. So it's a little slow. And there's Nate. I'm dumping on Nate. Nate, how far are you? I'm at 56 right now. Okay, I got 150 bushel left on me. You need to talk to Uncle Buck and get this uh, thing extended because I can barely fit myself right here. Yeah, I know. We probably should have got a shorter uh, shorter bean head on there. Uh, uh, not a shorter bean head, but longer of a pipe. Okay, better. I'm about empty. We're good. All right, shut her off. I'll tell you what, boys, down here by the little pond, this stuff's probably some of the best yielding stuff we got. Yeah, I figured we had a dry year and all the moisture went down there. That's some of the better ground down there. Where are the yielding? Well, the tank's already about half, a little over half full towards the beginning of the pass. I was roughly uh, closer to about a third, so I don't necessarily know uh, bushel-wise, but it's gaining pretty quickly when I go through this stuff. That ain't good. That ain't good. Come on, boy. You boys good over there? Um, uh, what do you, what, turn, turn! No! Everything good? Um. Don't tell me you hit the logger on the grain cart. Uh, no. It's, Don't. it's worse. It's worse. Um. Are you alive? I'm alive. Yeah, uh, he, he might not be in about 20 minutes from you, but he's alive. He may or may not have just sent the auger wagon into the water. Son of a gun! Yeah, he kind of is it in the ditch or is it is it like tipped over? Oh, it's, or is it? It, it, it? It's in the ditch. Oh, it's it doesn't look too. Ditch. It doesn't look too bad. Looks like we just pulled yeah, it right no, on out. it's not. Oh no! It dumped. It, it's dumping in the water. Son of a gun! Oh, it's not good. It is not good. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. Um. Oh my gosh, Nate. What the heck happened? No, no, no. What happened? I, I, it is, you guys weren't yelling that. It didn't even sound that bad. Well, the fact of the matter was that I think he probably was just completely browning his pants while proceeding to watch the cart take control. And I didn't know what the heck was going on because we didn't hear it over the radio. Is, it, is that why the water looks disgusting? Probably. Here's the thing. What the beans it? are worth more than the, the cart, probably. Just about. We got some well, we beans in there. Oh, well, we could turn it into a swimming pool. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> Uncle Grant, I don't think you're getting those beans back. Oh, um, man. Those are in the water. They're no good anymore. Well, they're you might be... get some of these beans that spilled out on the ground up here when it's flying up in the ground. Well, but uh, you won't get those. They're going to be high moisture. We could just mix them in. We could just blend them off probably, I'm sure. Well, I thought today was going to go smooth as long, as long as we didn't have any hiccups like this. This is why you don't say it. This is like this exact same I... saying of... Yeah, I knocked on wood two army. times, Buck. This is going I knocked to be a on great wood day. two times, man. You knocked, that yeah, don't this matter. Happen. This is you what happens. Double negative. Exactly. This is what happens when you say we're you having a great You leave Nate day. to drive the car. Hey, now, it was not my fault. The brakes failed if they failed. Yeah, what, what, did, on the what did happen? How did this actually happen? I had no brakes the entire way down. There was, I was on top of the hill. He filled me up to the top, and then I couldn't stop. And the tractor picked up speed. And we all know what happens then. So I had two options. At least, we can be thankful at least I saved the tractor. I could have not yeah, saved the Yeah, but you tractor. had like an entire two to three passes worth of this header to turn. Not really. I had like one maybe because it was picking up speed, speed faster than I could turn. Were you texting on your phone and playing Angry Birds while you're sliding or? No, I, it's just slid. What do you want from me? Give me your phone. Give me your He's phone. He's playing Angry Birds. No, I know what he was playing. No. Oh, it's oh, in the tractor. It's in the tractor. I, I think we have to fire him. He was playing <laughs> American Farming. You were playing a farming simulation game while you were driving the tractor? Oh, right. I mean, it gets bored in there. At least in there, I can harvest. Y'all won't let me harvest out here for some reason. It was my own combine. But I mean, well, I, I hope your to. $5 in app purchase was worth $150,000. you are going to have to take to replace that thing. You kidding me? You're That's playing this game? Claim. That's an insurance claim right there. Well, how, how do we get this thing out of here? Well, I don't think there's anything we could do about it right now. That thing's buried. I'd like to get it pulled out and save the grain that's in there, though, before the whole thing goes in. That's what I'd like to save. It's already all in there. No, there's some. There's some in the tank still. You literally have a culvert drainage system right there that's coming from Lord knows where. And look at the color of this water. You sure you want to try and cycle these beans and sell well, them? Well, the beans that are in the cart, we can still get out. And we could save the cart. I mean, if we keep 80 that. 80% percent of it's submerged in the cart. We could get the cart out of there and I could at least salvage it, probably. I could get some money for it. You do whatever the heck you want to do about that. Are just, you going to get out of this and scrap my uncle? Like, this is... Let me, let me, let me think, record. let me, let me think of a way. I literally have the excavator. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot, that. I forgot about that. That'll work yeah, good. Yeah, you pull it up with the boom. Okay, 
Uh, uh, do we need a semi or can you drive it here? I'll just drive it here. It'll take me a while. Honey, the brakes work pretty well on this thing. Okay, well, I guess me and Nate are going to get back to harvesting. We don't have a grain cart. It's having a little swimming day over there. I know it ain't that much of an option. I know it's not the biggest option in the world like you have, but I do have a kills bro over there in one of my fields. You want, like, a, once Uncle Buck gets back to go get that so we have some type of grain cart? Yeah, once once we get that grain cart pulled out, we could probably use that one. That'd be good. Yeah. I could put it on the uh, the Magnum or the 8410. Oh, it's, it's on the uh, 8430 right now. Okay, that should work then. Okay, we currently have 403 bushels on us. So we don't have a grain cart, so we're just going to dump on the semi. And I think the semi might be full. I don't know if we'll be able to fit all this in there. I might have to run it up to the bin site. And we're dumping. It's going to be close to full. I'm going to check how much capacity we have left. Yep, we're full. Rental man, you on the CB? Loud and clear. It took you two hours and 30 minutes to get here with that excavator. Well, it only drives at four miles. It only drives at six miles an hour. Well, did... Yeah, at least have some good views along the way. Yeah, it's got a very slow representation of how dirty and filthy and overgrown our area is. Well, that's why you got an excavator. Clean it up. Okay, Buck, let's see what you can do here. Like this said, is all I think you. I'm gonna, first, first thing I'm going to try and do is more than likely, I'm just going to grab that front piece of the, uh, the bar, the attached bar. Just don't put the excavator hey. in. That's what I'm thinking. Come over a little bit. Right there. A little well, bit. I don't Come know back. where the bucket's at. That's the problem. Come down a little bit. Come down. I'm right here at you, buddy. Come down. Well, don't get underneath it. There you go. Right there. All right. Watch out, Nate. Now, now scoop up. You got it. You got oh. it. You got it. She's trying. There you go. You're going sliding in. Be careful. You're almost Hang there. On. Well, I'm not underneath it, but I felt it slip off. He got a bucket full of mud is all he's got right now. He's bringing it. Come on. There you go. Yep. Oh, oh. you got it. Hang on. Try and back up a little bit. There you go. There. Come on. Ah, son of a gun. You're almost there. Bring her up. Come on now. There you go. Oh, there you go. You got it. I mean, maybe just. Yep. There you go. Come on. Bring her up. Bring her up. Oh. Okay, boys. I'm gonna go get the Magnum. You guys. All right, I'll go get the 8410. You guys, uh, you guys stay here. Keep I'm gonna try on and that. I'm just gonna try and rotate it a little bit more. Okay, here we go, Buck. Yeah, and I'm gonna push this thing just a little bit. It might, it's gonna dig the jack into the ground a little bit, but I want to get this thing down just a little bit further. Otherwise, you might not have enough like twist in your draw bar to hook this thing up. Okay. Come on. All right. There you We're go. Good. All right, now try that out. Hang on, let me get out of the way. If I can get the terrain to slope. I'll try and catch you if you need to, but Come it might on. still got your back window. Right. I'm good. Go that ahead. pin looks pretty fragile. Give it give it the beans, see if you can get it out. <laughs> I don't got any more beans. They're all in the water. Give me a little push buck if you can. Well, that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to get behind you and I'll just kind of pull it. Gosh darn it. It's stuck somewhere back there. Hold on. Nate, how are we looking? Looking good. She's Come stuck, on. though. Come on. I'm going to shift up. Ah. Come on, I'm pushing you. Come on, a little more. Oh, it's bending, it's bending. Hang on. A little on. more, a little more, a little more. Come on, Come on we're popping a wheelie, boys. I'm we're... spinning the tracks. Come on, give me a push. You're going to suck me down I'm to the spinning. water here at any second now. Uh, there oh! we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. I got it. Just about there. We got it. We're good, we're good, we're good. Uncle Buck, those are dry beans. I wouldn't put them in that grain cart. No, I'm not. I'm going to put them in the hopper of the combine. That's what I was about to say. These are dry. We're good with these. Oh, you, oh, you can scoop the beans out of there? Yeah, I can get a little bit of it. Watch out. Okay, guys. This one of the tires seems almost flat. We're having a tough time pulling this. Come on. There we go. We just need to get back to the farm. I'm just going to call Jay, our insurance guy, and see if see what he'll do with the grain cart. Now, hopefully we don't hit a power line. I couldn't fold the hydraulics in because we just didn't get it connected. I don't even know if they'll work. We should be good. Uh, we got a power line coming up. I think we'll be good. There we go. So now we got to figure out what grain cart we're going to use. I might head on down to Bucks or Nate's place. See if we can find a grain cart for corn. Be nice if we get another one bought or something. And then we got to figure out what we're going to do with that 9630T. The draw bar snapped off, so we got to get a draw, draw bar replaced for that. 
Okay, for now we're just gonna put the grain cart back here. This is this is kind of like the not the I'm not gonna call it the junk pile, but the miscellaneous pile back here. We'll just park her right there. There we go. So Bucks scooping out all the grain down there, and it's taking him a while. He's dumping it into the semi. I wonder how this is going. I don't. It's just, it's just a mess. We honestly just need to write it off. Just not even scoop it. Guys, are you sure that's worth it? I mean, half of it's water. Well, we can at least let it, like, basically, we can put a strainer underneath the thing so it'll just keep the beans from <laughs> the bottom of the trailer. I was about to say, I already have it cracked open. Okay. So, like, you see all the water just flooding Watch out of it. the trailer, fuck. <laughs> I'll tell you, this man is showing his trailer. The amount of stuff that this dude has taken from me, broken of mine, and just flat out made me mad, he can deal with a bump on the side of his trailer for well, five minutes. You guys sound well, like well, brothers uh, fighting. You guys should be the brothers over there. Gosh dang. What have I broken of yours? Oh, let's see here. Uh, you've broken my Trans Am. You've broken my Mustang. <laughs> you've stolen half my break. tools from my shop. You've stolen a half of my equipment from my place. And let's not even get started with the amount of things that you've run over at the dealer lot. Well, guys, while they keep bickering over there, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Next video, we should be smooth on harvest. If we can get a grain cart and stuff as soon as we get this mess cleaned up. But anyways... Go check out their channels down below, Nate's and Buck's channel, link down below, and hey, we'll see you in the next one.